one small but noteworthy incremental improvement to the user interface and user experience in 3D Coat is the addition of selection contours in the Sculpt workspace. As you may be familiar with in other applications such as Blender, it allows you to see a color selection contour around the currently selected object. If we go to the geometry menu toward the bottom, we have this section here, edit contour selection parameters, and also the option to enable this or disable this, render the selection contour. If we turn this feature off, we can still see the object highlighted in the viewport when we initially click on the object in the sculpt tree panel. But the selection contour feature allows you to see what object is selected in the viewport continually. Let's now enable that again. And this time I'm going to go to the Edit Contour Selection Parameters dialog, and it will allow us to set a default color. We also have the option to have the selection contour color match the reference color of the layer. We also have an option for rendering the backward facing edges of the model. In this case, I'm going to turn it off for now, and then I'll click OK. If we wanted some of the other layers to have their own unique color, we can right click and choose the reference color option. And let's maybe pick kind of a bright green color. And here we can set the color reference for only the currently selected object or the entire subtree. In this case, I'll choose the object and the entire subtree and then click OK. With that done, we can now see the green color at the right side of the object layer. Now, when I pick the other object layers, you'll notice that their selection contour is the default orange that I set. But the one layer that has a designated reference color will have a corresponding selection contour color. This can be extremely helpful when you have a scene that has many different object layers. It's important that I mentioned before we close that selection contour is not enabled by default, but you can set a hotkey for it if you like by hovering over the option in the geometry menu and hitting the end key on your keyboard. That's E-N-D. And in this case, I want to maybe assign it to the letter O for outline. If it's already assigned to something, it will tell you in that prompt. But nonetheless, I can now use that hotkey to enable it or disable it anytime I choose. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.